Many say he's a Tom Cruise of harness racing. His real name is Ryan Bell. He joins us here on Gloucester Park TV. You pick up a couple of nice drives here for the DeCampo camp. Kunrath has drawn barrier number 11 in race number two and a very winnable MO for him. Yeah, very winnable, Gareth. He's four starts back. He's had no luck whatsoever. And he gave me a real good field two starts ago. And Aiden said he felt just as good the other day with no luck again. So, yeah, definitely an each way chance. What kind of horse is he? Is he a horse that you have to drive for luck with one last crack at them? Or at stages, you might be able to put him into the race? Uh, yeah, at some stage he can put into the race. When he's at his top, which I think the boys think he is on his way to his top, he can do a bit of work. So he's drawn the back line. He does have huge gate speed, but back line we could just chill for a bit and assess the race. Good each way. Sky Art's going really well. It was a gem of a drive by Aiden De Campo to win from three back to paint last Friday night. He's drawn Barry two. Importer exporter drawn to you inside and Barry number one. His gate speed, do you think he can cross the pole? Uh, well, it's a stand, so oh, he, sorry, stand. Yeah, um, he's just one horse you don't need to worry about getting away quick. If he gets away safe and just save him up for that run, and he, he'll be a nice horse once he gets up in grade because he speeds his asset. So each way chance again. Yeah, definitely. Yep. The feature events of Governor's Cup. If you drive an old horse called Condru, who at his best would be really competitive here. How's he tracking along? Yeah, he's coming along good. He's um, he's starting to get his confidence back. Gareth uh, draw hurts again against a hot field. Um, you know, with Oliveri's horse drawn better than Jimmy Johnson this week makes it interesting. But you know, the way Jimmy Johnson's going, they all need to be at their best to beat him. And in the last race, you drive. How do you pronounce this again? Uh, Lipizzana, I think. Lipizzana, it's drawn Barry number two. Your thoughts there? Yeah, she's a nice country race for her on a Friday night. She's done a good, Marianne's done a huge job with this. She's had three years off, had a foal, come back, and she's had a fair few injuries. It's a great story, isn't yeah, it? Bloody yeah. oaf, and Marianne deserves all the success she's having with her, and she'll be better. I think she's going to the paddock after Friday. She's good sit sprint mare each way again. I actually own a quarter of her, and uh, she's a full sister to Shinzig Buller and Polak, and uh, she had good ability, but she fractured a pelvis, did a tendon, all this, all before she was three and a half, so uh, she's done a good job. So I think she's only had 13 starts yeah. or 14 starts or something, so yeah, no, she's a good, good filly, uh, she'll be better next prep. Okay, who's your best chance on Friday night? Uh, I think uh, Andrews two are very, very good each way. They're, they're racing very well. Do you have to buy Aiden a beer from time to time for continuing to get suspended? No, uh, I'm going to ring him tonight and ask how he's doing and tell him he can open up to me if he wants. Like, <laughs> poor soul. I'm going to offer him my 70 for the driver's <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Belly. Cheers, mate.